So today I'm going to be sharing with you nine things that I learned living in Thailand in the first year as an expat. So across my videos I always like to give transparency and novelty. This is why in today's video we're going to be talking about some topics that are slightly eye-opening and sensitive. So let's begin. One of the first things that you will notice when living in Thailand is that price discrimination is a very real occurrence. However, the good news is, even though price discrimination is very real, it's often on items and expenses that are very, very cheap. This is always a very interesting topic because some people justify this and say that foreigners living in Thailand should be discriminated against, as often they have much more money than Thai citizens, while others argue that price discrimination on any level is unacceptable. Here's a piece of advice that you may find useful. If you have a driving license or some Thai identification you will be able to use this in most places and get the same price as the locals pay. The next thing I learned is that some locals wear their heart on their sleeves. This is one of those subjects that is very unique and is often not talked about or well documented online. The best advice I would give to anybody who's thinking about dating in Thailand is just to be completely honest because if you're dating someone it's very likely that you can build a connection much quicker than in other countries and as a result you may feel that relationships progress very very quickly. If on the other hand you are looking for short-term dating experiences then being open and honest will allow you to find that perfect partner without anyone being hurt. One thing you'll also notice if you're living in Thailand is that you can live in Thailand for much less than a thousand dollars a month. I've spoken about this in great detail across the articles and some of the videos that we've released so I won't go into too much detail today but to summarize if you're looking to save money while living in Thailand the best option is to live in cities that are much cheaper such as Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai. Both of these cities are very beautiful and the living expenses are low. The next topic is more serious and this is depression in Thailand. The depression in Thailand is much higher than I thought. This topic is something that many large names such as the World Health Organization, the Ministry of Health and many others have spoken about in recent times. In fact, statistically speaking, the suicide rate in Thailand is actually one of the highest across Southeast Asia. There are many different reasons behind this, and this ranges from the equality related to the wealth of the country, as well as disability and many other factors. The next thing I learned is about the prices of health foods in Thailand. The reason why certain foods are so much cheaper in Thailand compared to other countries is of course because they're grown locally in Thailand. Foods that you will find very cheap are foods such as fruits, vegetables, honey, nuts, seeds, but surprisingly, some foods such as milk and cheese can be quite expensive compared to other countries outside of Southeast Asia. The next thing that may surprise you is it's much harder for entrepreneurs to start a business or invest in Thailand compared to other Southeast Asian countries. Now there is an exception to this rule. If you have the cash, then starting a business in Thailand or investing will not be as challenging. Of course, this is the same all over the world, but especially in Thailand. However, if your budget is slightly tight and you're looking to start a business or invest a little bit of money then it can be quite challenging in Thailand. However if you have a Thai bank account it can be a lot easier for you to invest because the banks in Thailand often have lots of investment products. But what about a business? The requirements for setting up a business in Thailand is quite high compared to those of other Southeast Asian countries. You will often need a large amount of capital and foreigners cannot own 100% of the business. However, there are legal loopholes around this. If this is something you're interested in, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure I do a video dedicated to this subject. The next thing that's quite interesting, especially for those who are looking to live long term in Thailand, is that you can get a 20 year visa. This is commonly referred to as the Thai elite visa and it has many different types of terms from 5 years, 10 years or of course 20 years. One thing to consider however for a 20 year visa is that it can be quite costly. A 20 year visa based on today's exchange in US dollars is just under $70,000. There is also an annual top-up fee which is just under 
$100. The processing time may vary, however, on average, it can take anywhere from three weeks to eight weeks. The next thing that I quickly discovered is the internet in Thailand is often very quick and very cheap. This is very important if you're thinking about living in Thailand as a digital nomad, as internet is an essential tool. There are many different types of internet providers in Thailand, however, one of the best is AIS internet. But what's really important when looking at the internet is not so much the internet provider, but the location you're in. And the final thing to remember is that Thailand is very similar to the West. Let's forget about Thailand for one moment, and let's say you're gonna take a trip to Japan. While exploring in Japan, you'll almost feel like you're on a different planet because everything you have in your own country is completely the opposite in Japan. But Thailand, on the other hand, is very similar. What I found interesting while traveling around Thailand all those years ago is that we all have the same kind of problems, the same kind of goals, the culture may be different, and there may be some topics that we see differently because of our conditioning throughout life. But at a fundamental level, a smile always means a smile. So if you're planning to move to Thailand, never be afraid to get involved with the people, get to know a new way of life, and ultimately enjoy your experience.